welcome to another House of Wisdom Knife Review. And today we're going to be reviewing the Andre Thorburn L54 knife, which is a beautiful knife. Andre Thorburn is a South African knife maker based in Bella Bella, South Africa. He's been making knives since 1989, and he became a full-time knife maker in 1996. His wife, Mariechi, does the custom bolster works on many of his knives. I have here a L36S, and this is some of the custom bolster work she does. This bolster is made by a gentleman of Belgium descent who expatriated to South Africa by the name of Julian Marchaud. So, we'll talk about the specifications of the knife. The blade length of the knife is 3.5 inches. The handle is 4.25 inches, giving a total knife length of 7.75 inches. The weight of the knife is 3.7 ounces. These are some of the Andre Thorburn knives that I own. This is the A2 A6 Mini. It has a 2 and 3 quarters inch blade. And then this is the A5, which has a 3 inch blade. And it's an A2 Series 2. I have two of the A5s. Uh, the difference is this one, the, the G10 green one, is a uh, custom. This has a single row IKBS bearing, and I asked Andre if he would do a double row IKBS bearing on this custom, and he did. He had forgotten that he ever did one, and I saw on a knife review video a guy that had one. It was Walking Reviews, who sadly doesn't do knife reviews anymore, but he was one of my favorite guys. Anyway, uh, Andre, <clears throat> just as a favor to me, even forgot that he ever did them with double row IKBS bearings. So he did one specially for me, and it has a distinctively smooth action, so I really like that. Moving on, this is another A2. This is the M45. It has about a three and an eighth to a three and a quarter inch blade. And then the Andre Thorburn. This is not an A2. This is just purely an Andre Thorburn um, L36S. It has a three and a quarter inch blade. And then the knife of review, which has a three and a half inch blade, the L54. This on the l 36S, the bolster is hand dremeled by his wife, Mariechi. She does a great job. And the reason they do this is that they were having problems with scratching on the bolsters. And so they started dremeling them and making scratches. And his wife, Mariachi asked him if he, she could take it to the next level and do designs. And so he allows her to do designs. And it really adds to the artistic nature of the knife. She's able to do about three a day, says Andre. And, uh, well, anyway, this is today's bolster. This is made by Julien Marchaud, who is a trained engraver from Belgium who expatriated to South Africa, and he does lovely work. Um, wow, it's just art. It's great. So, anyway, those are some of my Thorburns, and uh, we'll get back to the review now. The blade of this particular knife is made of M390 and is in a harpoon configuration. It has a hand rub satin finish with polished flats. The proximal blade has jimping on it for traction. Also notice that the end of the handle has jimping and that's so that as your thumb rests there you get jimping both on the first part of your thumb and the second part of your thumb. The method of deployment of the knife is by flipper. The flipper has some mild jimping to it and is rounded so that if you want to light switch it, you can and you don't have anything poking on you. Also, if you want to hit the knife from above and button push it, you can do that. I really like this flipper design. It lets you decide which is the best angle for you to deploy the knife. The handle is made of silver lightning strike carbon fiber and it is very well done and very smooth. Occasionally you can get a knife with lightning strike carbon fiber because basically it's carbon fiber with a thin silver wire run through it and uh, you can have some cut edges of the silver wire poking you but this is completely smooth and completely well done. The back spacer looks to be made out of a black G10 and on the back there's also some file work on the back which is characteristic. On the liners it's anodized a light blue. It has some file work 
which is reanodized a bronze color. And here you can see the liners with the light blue color on the inside also. The bolster is distinctive on this knife. As I mentioned, its bolster is hand engraved by Julien Marchaud. He's initially from Belgium, but moved to South Africa, and Andre Thorburn gave him a job working in a shop. Since then, Julien Marchaud has moved to a different location. He's about 100 miles away from Bella Bella, but Andre Thorburn still uses him for some of his bolster work. He does a great job. The pivot on this knife is ceramic IKBS bearings. Here you see the IKBS single row bearing logo. Uh, Andre Thorburn has been using IKBS bearings since 2004, so he has, at the time of the recording of this video, 14 years of experience with it, and the action of this knife is just as smooth as can be. The lock used in this knife is a liner lock, and it locks up, locks up solid, as you can see, the entire liner lock is engaged with the bleg tang. The pocket clip on the knife is a 3D milled clip that has good retention. It has a ceramic ball at the end for its traction point. It is milled very thinly so it's easy to get your pants under. And not all knife makers do this. I don't want to pick on any knife makers, but the Micropatorium from Greg Medford is particularly a hefty, chunky pocket clip. And really, to get that off the scale, you really have to hurt your finger to, to get it off. And that's not the way with this knife. It's thinned out and delicate and easy to lift off the handle blade. So easy to get in and out of your pants without tearing up your pocket fabric. The signage on the knife is minimal. On the clip side, it has uh, Andre Thorburn's maker mark. It says Andre E. Thorburn Custom. And then on the show side, it has the IKBS single row bearing uh, maker's mark. And I think that that's a requirement. The thing I want to point out to you, though, is that this knife is uh, branded like a right-handed knife. As you can see, the clip side of my L36S, the IKBS bearings is on the clip side. And then on the show side, he has his Andre Thorburn maker mark. And Andre just uh, put the Andre Thorburn maker mark on the same way as a right-handed knife. The other thing that's right-handed about this, some makers will put the lock bar so that a right-handed person can push it, but here a left-handed person would have to pull it. So really, the branding and the lock bar are right-handed in, or in orientation. Really, the only thing about this that makes it a left-handed knight was he drilled out and mounted his clip on the left-handed side. And I was asking myself, with a right-handed configuration, you have your clip to the palm side and then the show side to your finger side. On this one, the uh, show side is to your palm side and your fingers rest on the clip. And I don't think one's necessarily more uncomfortable to another. And really, when I bought it, I thought it was a right-handed knife. I didn't even notice it was a left-handed one. But uh, as far as soon as the show opened, his table was flocked with people and I wanted to make sure I got this one. I didn't even notice that it was a left-handed clip mount on it, but uh, I guess it doesn't matter that much. Well, we'll talk about the value a little bit. Well, I even hate to talk about the price because this is the most expensive knife I have ever purchased in my life and we're just going to leave it at that. So what do I think about the Andre Thorburn L54? I really like it. Are there opportunities for improvement? The only one that I want to point out, I'm not left-handed, but on behalf of left-handers, if you make a left-handed knife makers, put the lock bar on the other side and do the branding on the other side so the maker marks on the show side, and I think that they would appreciate it. What do I like about it? The thing that I like most about this knife, other than, you know, it's a Thorburn smoothness and everything, is the bolster made by Julian Marchaud. This feels so good in the hand, and it is just beautiful. You look at the intricate nature of the hand engraving that happened there, and you're just amazed at the gifting and talent that he has. And it's a little bit anodized. You can see some reds and some greens and blues here, and that happens a little bit there. So it is just the most beautiful bolster that I own in my collection. The action is typical of a Thorburn knife. It just closes on its own with that smooth IKBS bearing system, and that's just great. Also, I have to talk about the fit and finish. 
The carbon fiber and the zirconium are perfectly mated. The file work is beautiful and amazing on the back. There's just not any sharp edges or any uh, faults whenever one surface meets another surface. This is just perfect like the Thorburn knives are. It has great fit and finish. The blade is classy too with its harpoon configuration. It has a beautiful hand rub satin flats and the polished, excuse me, the polished flats and the satin primary grind. And then the jimping I like because it's smooth when you run your fingers over it, but when you press down it really grips into you. So I like the jimping too. Well, the Andre Thorburn L55 is an L54 is an excellent knife. When you get to this level of knife making, each knife's a little different. This particular knife has the hand engraved bolters by Julia Marchot. It's particularly nice. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. That's the video for the day. Like and subscribe if you haven't already, and we'll see you on the next House of Wisdom knife review video.